Josh White was a natural man Held a plug nickel in the palm of his hand He raised it up like a glass to his eye What he saw through the nickel made the natural man cry Lord, 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 this morning made a natural man cry Then through the nickel a vision arose He saw an actor in the jungle with a bone in his nose He saw a maid in an apron with a Hollywood grin Heard a singer at the back door slamming again Lord, 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 he heard the back door slamming again High upon a mountain sat the Lord and the natural man Old Josh White got the gift of song, but he never saw the promised land. He never saw the promised land. So Josh White laid the nickel down. He put his hands in his pockets and he strolled into town. He looked to the left and over to the right But he couldn't find a place to spend his money that night Lord, 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 he sure want to spend some money tonight Yeah, they ran to the hotel, dollar in hand But they wouldn't take a dollar from no colored man He said, it's getting mighty late, mister, where can I go? He said, well, play me a tune, I'll let you sleep on the floor. Lord, 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 Josh White asleep on the floor. High upon a mountain sat the Lord and the natural man. Oh, Josh White got the gift of song, but he never saw the promised land. He never saw the promised land. Now we up yonder where the angels were found All the blood from his fingers stained the heavenly ground There ain't nothing to do but to do what you do And you do it till they roll a stone over you Lord, 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 don't let them roll a stone over you High up on a mountain sat the Lord and the natural man Oh, Josh White got the gift of song, but he never saw the promised land. High up on a mountain, I heard a cold black angel sing. And a better plug nickel if he came back tomorrow, it wouldn't change a goddamn thing. I bet it wouldn't change a goddamn thing. Oh, oh. That was a song I wrote for one of my heroes. I never got to see Josh White perform live, but uh, I would listen to his records and I realized that he was different from everything else that was out there. And I was so proud of my home state of South Carolina, which politically I'm sometimes ashamed of, but uh, I was happy to see that the mayor of Greenville, South Carolina, Josh's hometown, declared Josh White Day. I think it was August 20th. and. Uh, his son, Josh White Jr., who's a friend, was there and um, made me very proud, very happy that finally they recognized one of their favorite sons. But I wrote that song because I would sit in the University of Georgia where I was in school from the, all through the 60s up till Josh's death in 69. I play his LPs and then ever since then, whenever I play concerts and say I never saw him live, people always come to me and hand me bootleg cassettes 
and albums. And so I have a nice collection of Josh White music at home. He was one of my heroes. As a songwriter, I most enjoy writing songs that have some cinematic element to them. A sense of place is more important to me than almost anything. Making somebody feel like they're there. And this next song was written after a long drought that took place in the southeastern United States. I was spending time on the Edisto River, which is in the central part of the state, and along the Wakaiba River in Florida, the protected river. And I noticed a lot of folks who live down along those rivers. Some of them are the kind of folks that don't like to be bothered, so they live as far into the woods as they can get. They're the kind of people that, travelers who like to leave the expressway to be adventurous sometimes run into and sometimes feel very sorry that they took that back road. So some of the characters who show up in this song are people that I know. And I notice that when the weather gets weird, when it gets harsh, the weird get weirder and the strange get stranger. So I wrote this for those people thinking about my home country. August ain't no place for man nor beast along this river. I could raise a sweat with just the thought of sitting down. People get so testy in this heavy, humid weather where the ivy leaves burn right into the ground. Corn is at my knees and it crackles like brown paper. Gators eat each other when the water gets this low. Ain't no sign of rain, wells are dried up, tempers flaring. Bugs will have a feast tonight, I know. Lyle sits alone down on the dock drinking whiskey, staring in the mud at a rattler dying slow. Lyle never came back from the jungle, South Pacific. This heat might not affect him, I don't know. Killer sprinkles water on his mother's little garden, but all those filling station boys are restless on his mind. He'll devise a torment and humiliation for him as the young tomatoes wither on the vine. tortured souls in this thirsty town the summer brings a fever no sign of relief how much hotter can the sun beat down Seven months along, Miss Emily planned to go to Texas. Desperate for a man, she found one more than her share. All those magazines taught her love's little secrets. Now the dusty morning greyhound chokes the air. Miss Maud is up at sunrise and she walks down through the arbor. Licking thin dry lips as she stares into the ground That cracking soil is home now to the only one who kissed her Sixty years of drought still gets her down How much harder can the sun be down On tortured 
wandering souls in this thirsty town. The summer brings a fever, no sign of relief. How much hotter can the sun beat down? Fan up in the window moves the curtains just a little. Lying on my bed, I know my sheets are soaking wet. August ain't no place for man or beast along this river. The heat'll make a beast out of me yet. The mercury's above a hundred ten in the shade. I crave a sip of sweet lemonade and Lyle wraps his head up in a wet bandana and he slithers through the swamplands of South Carolina how much harder can the sun be down on tortured souls in this thirsty town summer brings a fever no sign of relief Harder can the sun beat down The guitar just was the one that I found that I could express myself best on. And so... Um, it's like God's little joke. You know, I'm, I'm not a fan of guitar music, instrumental music. But I mean, it's the perfect accompaniment for song and story. I mean, I'm, I, uh, when I play my gigs, all the, uh, the guitar players come to see me. But they're really, some of them are disappointed that I bother to sing or that I've written a song. It makes no difference to them either. They always want to talk guitar, and I, I, I don't know anything about guitar, so. Like I said, when I didn't know what year this guitar was. I, I knew what, I bought it in the 70s, but Judy, my wife, had to Google the serial number to find out what year I'd bought it. I wish I'd written this one. It's one of those songs that you hear when you're a young guitar player, singer, songwriter, and it kind of helps shape your career. I did a whole album of songs like this. Everything from Frank Sinatra to Dwayne Eddy, Ray Charles and Hank Williams. This one's from the Delta, Mississippi Delta. This is from a group called the Mississippi Sheiks. Everybody's recorded this song, so I sometimes question the wisdom of recording it one more time. But I just, I just did. I'd heard Bill Monroe and I'd heard Brian Bowers and Bob Dylan, and Doc Watson, everybody do it. But I thought, you know, every kid deserves a chance to play one of his favorite songs. in the spring one sunny day my sweetheart left me and ran away well she's gone and I don't worry and I'm sitting on top of the world she called me up from El Paso said come back daddy I need you so oh she's gone gone I don't worry and I'm sitting on top of the world If 
you don't like my peaches, don't shake my tree. Get out of my orchard and let my peaches be. Oh, now she's gone, gone. I don't worry, cause I'm sitting on top of the world. Don't you come here running, holding up your hand. Gonna find a woman like you found your man. She's gone, gone, gone. I don't worry. And I'm sitting on top of the world. to ashes, dust to dust, is there nobody in the world to trust? Oh, now she's gone, gone, and I don't worry, cause I'm sitting on top of the world. Mississippi River, deep and wide, the woman I love, Lord, she's standing on the other side. Oh, she's gone, I don't worry. Cause I'm sitting on top of the world Yes, 